Today I'll be showing you how to do an oil change on a Nissan Rogue any year pretty much from 2008 on. And uh, so you're going to need these items. Let's zoom in on here so you could get a closer look. Alright, so you're obviously going to need the oil. I use a 5W30 Mobile One full synthetic. And uh, just get an oil filter, any kind where so you could get the OEM from the dealer. I got this with the oil at a discounted price. So you're going to also need a funnel when you're uh, putting in the oil. Some tools, sockets, you know. And then some kind of tool to get your old oil filter off. And then some rags, gloves if, if you want to, if you don't want to get dirty, you know. And then don't also forget your oil container when you're draining your oil. Uh, I almost forgot the jack and the jack stands. And then if you want, just play some music in the background. So first thing you want to do is get your hood open. Get that in there. And then what you want to do is check if you could take off your oil cap. So I already took it off. It was uh, pretty easy to take off. Not. And uh, just leave it on there freely like that. So when you're draining your old oil, it uh, drains faster. So now what you want to do is uh, jack your car, car up on jack stands. Since I'm going to be also doing the differential fluid, I put the Rogue on all four jack stands. So once you're under the car, you'll see the bolt is right here. It's going to be right next to the cat right there, closer to the passenger side of the car in the front. So you're going to have to get this bolt off over here. So get your uh, oil container ready and your 14 millimeter socket. So now you're going to get under the car and uh, try to get this bolt loose. Okay. And uh, get your container ready. I don't know, uh, some people have smaller containers. This one's pretty large so I don't have to worry about where the oil is going to splash, how far. But uh, just try to look out for it and start slowly getting the bolt off without getting yourself all dirty. And what I'm doing is pressing the bolt against the, the pan so the oil doesn't just squirt everywhere. So once you get it off, you can feel it clicks. Just pull it off and your oil is going to be draining. I'm going to clean off the bolt over here. On this bolt over here, you can see there's like a little copper ring. Uh, some people, like, it's recommended that you get a replacement one, but I just don't bother. I just keep the old one on there. So now you can start screwing the the bolt hand like by hand so you know you're go you're making it uh go in easily if it's like if you can't screw it in easily then you're doing something wrong just unscrew it and start over but now it's finger tight you can move your container away wipe this area down <laughs> talking to the video yeah if you have a torque wrench, you could torque this down to 25 uh, foot-pounds. If you don't, you could just use a regular, uh, what do you call those things? Socket wrenches or something? Socket wrench. Yeah, a socket wrench. And uh, just tighten, not too tight, but you know. Using a torque wrench, you tighten it until you hear the click. I could have. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Alright, so now that bastard is tight. Let's get the oil filter off. So to find your oil filter is gonna be behind this plastic thing right here at the by the behind the passenger tire. And you just lift it up. And let me get a better shot of this if I can. You'll be able to see your... 
you can see mobile one filter old all greasy get yourself one of these if you can see that <laughs> it's a nice old little filter right I think you can use my light till it's dark I can't tell if it is or not but... I don't know if it's in focus or not. Move this for now, just so I can get to it. Why is it all greasy here? The oil filter? Yeah. <laughs> Someone did this wrong. Want to see something disgusting? Nope. Look at that. <laughs> the whole freaking filter is in in that. <laughs> If your oil filter is <laughs> covered in bunch of grease and crap, maybe wipe that down before you try and screw it. Can I just saw it out? What? Hold it. It's just gonna be techno, the techno mist in the background. So Sorry. finally, when you get this oil filter uh, loose. Okay, I think it's dripping. Hopefully it's not dripping on me. So yeah, slowly untighten this filter. Let the oil keep draining. Try to catch the filter when it... Okay. Ah. Get a good grip on that oil filter. There you go. I'll just place it in your container. Good to go. So now I finally got that oil filter off. For some reason it was really tight on there. I don't know who previously put it on on there that tight. So get your new oil filter. And you see you have a seal on here. You could check the old one also has a seal. It didn't come off. So what some people do, they use the old oil and uh, get this nice and greasy, the seal. I like to get the new oil. Let's get this open. Don't record. <laughs> so I like to get the new oil. God damn it. And get the seal nice and greased up. And then just uh, screw it on nice and hand tight. Wow, it's really dark. But yeah, just uh, screw the filter in there and then wipe everything down so it's clean. And you're pretty much done. Now all you gotta do is add the oil. So just pretty much fill the whole thing, I guess, or just five quarters. Is that the whole thing? So there you go, please subscribe, thumbs up and comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.